So here we have the Vampire 2, uh, set up for R2G on a 600. I've repaired the sound on this board and it's running, uh, what's it running? 8 bit uh, 320 res, which is Doom's default res, and it goes like stink. It's in 256 colour, chunky, and it runs beautiful. So the next uh, the next video will probably be some scum games, Monkey Island, um, Duke Nukem RTG, Quake RTG. Do you do Quake? Yeah, Quake RTG. I'm sure there is one. What does that need? I don't know. I'll have to look into Quake. Anyway, this is um, Picasso '96 installed. Don't know what driver um, core version this is running. I think. It's running an older core. It might be version, who knows, two, three. But um, core six has just been released, so I might have to update it. I haven't tried updating yet, so I don't know how to do it. Um, but there we go. Let's uh, stop this and go back to workbench. go off and this comes back on which is the reason I'm using uh, two screens obviously that's doom don't think I've got anything else um, fact that I am I'll just show you which mode the Picasso is running on my Samsung TV. Uh, need to set the screen up. I haven't done that. I've literally, I've just got this going. So on my Samsung TV, for those of you who are having trouble setting this thing up, it's set as a Picasso uh, 2 card, I think it was. Uh, and then you... Uh, it automatically finds the Saga drivers, which is the Super AGA. It's in chunky 256 colours at the moment. On my Samsung TV, it's running at about 25.22 clock megahertz, 644.80, or whichever resolution the game requires. And it works really well. Uh, we'll just test this actually, so you can see it going. Test. There we go. And that's from this little beauty. I'm still having issues. Um, if I turn this off now, which I will, it's been running for probably an hour. And it runs fine. It gets warm, so I've put a fan there. I need to fit it properly, but obviously I've done it. It is screwed down with the mounts that come with it. The socket is giving me trouble, I know it is. But one of the pins is depressed and won't spring back. I know if I spring it back, it'll just break. But anyway. I'm going to change the socket, I don't like it. If I turn this off, there we go, off, and turn it back on again, probably the act light will be on. How warm is it? See, that's pretty cold. There's a little bit of warmth around the CPU, but not much. If I turn this back on, look, look what happens. The act light is on. And that will not uh, boot up unless I put my finger just there and press. Put the power on and it will fire up fine. Why this is I don't know. Who knows. It's a bit annoying. But there we go. I need to find a solution for it. I'm not sure what it is. But there we go. That's the Vampire 2 and it runs pretty damn good. I want to do a firmware update on it, a core update rather, and uh, see what that gives me. But for the time being, there we go. Thank you.